We are gathered here today to join. Well, I gotta let the rooster get done with his thing. To join these three holes in holy bodemony. So, anyway, what we're doing now, we're actually got these guys you know, set up. They're all parallel, they're all even up and down, they're all leveled left and right, and put, everything's perfectly lined up, and amazingly, everything lined up perfectly. Uh, and so now we're putting, uh, getting ready to run to uh, join them. Now, uh, they're not going to be joined permanently because this hole is going to bolt, have a board that bolts uh, into uh, one 2 by 4 here. And there'll be two 2 by 4 so it'll basically be a 4 by 4 sandwich. And this hole will unbolt from the center hole and that hole will unbolt from the center hole. And that way I can because there's no way I can carry uh, me and six guys can pick this thing up and carry it onto my beach and if I want to park it uh, on my property which is across the road from my beach my beach has a 12 foot gate well this is a 12 foot 4 inch or 6 inch boat wide so it won't go through the gate so we got to unbolt it uh, you know to store it uh, out of the uh, water so anyway we are leveling it uh, we're lining everything up. We've got our centering strings here, all our fishing lines that go down the center. So we got center to center over here. See, this is our string here with with the fishing line centered all the way back. And this one here is also centered all the way back. And we got our levels going across there. We I don't know where the level level went but we put it across here and these uh, two by fours are perfectly level and they are hitting on each one of these resting perfectly flat except this one this one has a little bit of a twist in the hole so that we're gonna have to live with uh, but other than that uh, we're looking at perfection three three hole perfection also if I can get back more Give you guys a better view of the front. So that's going to pull up to your beach someday. You're going to think that the natives have declared war on, on you and they're bringing their Armada, their uh, aircraft carrier, or whatever, a <laughs> coconut carrier, I guess you could call it. But we're going to be carrying fish. So anyway, this is the back end with the steps and the center hole with the engine right now. But this that engine's coming out that's a gasoline 15 horsepower sumo rado engine that they typically use for racing boats which was basically what this was but i liked it because the sides were so high there's really high sides there's like 20 almost 24 inches high sides which everybody else is like 18 inches or 12 and a half or something they're really low but anyway you see the stairs there and the stairs here so we can get in and out easily and uh, we're going to run these through here the 2 by 4 are going to go through basically I don't know if you, yeah you can see where there's a 2 by 4 and there's a 2 by 4 and this is going to be the hole we're going to cut this hole out and run them through here and brace all in here and bolt up to here and the same thing going through here and put bracing across here and box all everything in with you know two by four uh, wood and the same thing over there as you can see right there those are where the two by four holes will go roughly not exactly but I just drew them there just for visualization and uh, you know so we can eyeball this stuff so we are just about to join the hull we put the three chines on down here you can see one two and three we got those on there and the same with this well here we got the chains on here one two and three just to keep it straight we were going to put chains on here but this is only a single hole boat it's only three eighths inch uh, thick plywood where this is doubled three eighths inch so it's three fourths of an inch and nailing into three eighths inch is not as secure for the chines as nailing in to double that so we're only putting chines on the outside uh, holes which should be 
you know plenty if I do need to put chains on on this I can simply pull out the engine which is four bolts uh, five bolts we've got to disconnect the universal joint that connects it to the uh, you know propeller hose shaft and just flip it and then do the work so easy enough I already did it twice on these two boats so we will be back I don't know how I can get a good picture of the whole massive thing but I don't know if that shows up well or, or not, but from the front it looks probably the best. Once we paint it all, it's really going to jump, you know, out at us. So, we will be back with more three-cut trimaran from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now.